Ancient Revelation YouTube channel. In partnership with Gaia.com, another magnificent platform, gathering some magnificent documents. He has his pre premiere tomorrow, guys, August 21st. Please head to his channel, subscribe, and set the reminder. He's also going to be featuring um, my research, guys, so we owe him a lot of thanks. Check out his channel. We're in the constellation of Taurus, inside of Pleiades examining each of those magnificent little stars, I guess we can call them, right? What is a star? Well, a star is what they call hidden systems, I believe, because a star sometimes and most often is made up of several stars. and They can be big or even bigger than our own solar system and our galaxy that's around the solar system, guys. It's hard to believe. This is, yep, Aldebaran. We're seeing the atmosphere around it. Aldebaran has, and I've shown pictures of it way back, has these gases, these red gases all around it. But still, we're seeing signs of atmosphere in the air all the time. Oh, look at this one. Who's this? Sirius star system, of course, in the constellation of Taurus. Also, the Pleiades. So, um, there's a bunch of stars in the constellation of Taurus that are cool to look at. But you know what? Not cool enough. We gotta get in a lot closer. But still wanted to share that with you guys. Working on the moon, and uh, this is all this morning that I captured this. Caught the surface of the moon this morning also uh, between 3 and 4.30, 4.45 a.m. Uh, there's Aldebaran again. So we're gonna go see that in uh, close-up detail. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching everyone. So August 20th, that's the date today, 2019, and this is the moon that was there. I caught this this morning between 3 a.m. and 4.45 a.m. this morning, and that's why I got up at 1 this afternoon. Yes, I'm ashamed of myself. No, I needed the sleep in reality from 5 a.m. to 1's not that long. It's just a regular, regular shift in bed, I guess. I don't usually get an, a lot of sleep in, but we're each wired differently it's not that i don't get my rest it's just we have a different ways of uh, getting rest some get better rest than others we're gonna get in close today not too bad anyways i do want you to see this is why i'm pulled out because i do want you to see the whole beauty it's fun to get into the craters but when i get the footage like i just did this morning um on several occasions i always show a further out view and then we get in Winter's coming, so there's a lot of projects I want to do and a lot of images I have to get into and a lot of footage that we will get in real close. Looking for UFOs again in the footage, very tedious process, but always um, always pleasant, always uh, profitable because we see so ma uh, many UFOs on the surface, so much detail. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to shut up, get some music up. Thanks for watching, everyone.
For whatever the reason you'd like to send me something, here is my mailing address. Houston, say again, please.